Hi and welcome to News Now. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. Today we are here with Becca PC. I'm going to read her introduction because it gets bigger and bigger. She is a two times World Marathon Challenge Champion. She is a Guinness Book of World Records. She's an author, a restaurant manager, a childcare owner, longtime Belmont resident, a local celebrity, and a good friend. Welcome. Thank you for having me. So, Becca, we are doing a Becca PC 5K. Please invite our town. This race is open to anybody. You can walk it, you can run it, join a team, create your own team. It's really an opportunity for our whole community to come together and have a really awesome day. Great, and let's go back a little bit on history. When did you start it and why? I crossed the finish line of the first World Marathon Challenge, which was the seven marathons on seven continents in seven days. And the, this community has shown up so hard for me. So I thought, how can I give back to the community that I was born and raised in and love so much? And I thought, I know how to run, so why don't I put on a race? So our first race had 116 runners in 2016. So now we're over 500 and, and we've it's just an opportunity for like me to give back and it's it's really been an awesome journey over the last seven years congratulations on those and what is the purpose of the of the run and how much have you accomplished so this race has brought in over fifty thousand dollars and all of the proceeds go towards the belmont high school for graduating seniors and any sports equipment that the community of belmont needs um, they just reach out and ask me and i i it's an honor to donate to the belmont high school that has i graduated in 1998 so giving back to my high school it means a lot to me awesome and now let's go back to uh april you had twice run the Boston Marathon. How was that? It was so much fun. So I was going on my 18th consecutive Boston Marathon. There's nothing I would rather be doing on Patriots Day. And the race director reached out and he said, I'm going to be running my 50th marathon at night, same course, same everything, I'd like to invite you. And I said, well, the one problem is I'm keeping my streak alive for the first one. And he said, run both. And Dave McGilvery's a good friend and, and knows that I like a challenge. So I thought, I'll do both. I'll give it a try. And it was an awesome day getting to run the Boston Marathon two times in one day. And it was, it was really fun for me. And once again, the community showed up so hard and cheered for us the second time, too. And it was, it was great. And you have this personal goal of run a marathon in each state. How is it going? I started a goal five years ago to run a marathon in all 50 states. So I am at marathon, going on marathon 43. And getting to see the whole U.S. is incredible doing what I love to do. So it's been way more fun than I thought that it would be seeing the whole U.S. and going to Mount Rushmore and Las Vegas and really cool places. Running through Disney, Cinderella's Castle was awesome. So I've had a really fun time. I'm going to be sad when it's over, but I'm definitely not going to do it again. You want to stop either. Yeah, I won't stop. <laughs> I'll find another goal. So how is Becca Pieces day? Let's go on a regular daily routine. Yeah, so it's like a puzzle. My life's much like a puzzle. I own a daycare. I manage Moosey's Ice Cream Shop, in which I have my own ice cream flavor, the Becca 7, with seven ingredients. And I get up and I start my day, and I, I, well, I'm lucky because I have tremendous help in my daycare and at the ice cream shop, so it takes a lot of trust that I can go and, and go on these running journeys and know that everything is going to be okay. So I get up usually at 5 a.m. and run, and anywhere from like 6 to 20 miles depending upon what day of the week it is and I am on Tuesdays anybody in the community is welcome to come down and run at the track with us we run from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. and then Thursdays as well so all paces welcome come run and um, mostly just go both to both jobs and then I do a lot for the community so I'm currently conditioning the boys so varsity soccer team and the girls soccer team so getting to be involved in that and my daughter's entering high school she'll be a freshman at Belmont High School so I'm prepping her for that too so so I love my life it's very crazy and very busy but I'm fortunate to be loving what I do and what would be your advice to uh, 
another mom, another uh, person in the community that wants to start this and have never run? Yeah, so that's a really good question. A lot of people say, I want to I want to be like you, but I don't know how to run. Come down to the local track and start off by running the straight parts and maybe walking the circle part and four times around is a mile. So just build up your endurance slowly by slowly and make sure that you're hydrating and you have a great pair of sneakers. Go see Jerry at Champions. He'll help you fit you out for great sneakers and enjoy it. You know, so whether it's running or playing soccer or whatever sport that it is that you want to try, just make sure that you enjoy it. But running can take you around the world and you can go at like a my 5k any pace and we get the same medal. It's everybody gets a medal and it's a great day, but um, make sure that you're, you're healthy enough, consult in a doctor, but come down to your local track. And, and if you ever have any questions, reach out to me. I'm really approachable. I'd love to help you. So Becca, I know you are an author. So please tell us about the book and what are the proceeds going to? So all of the proceeds from my book, Becca's Feet on Feet, which is sold on Amazon or BeccaPeasy.com, go to my foundation. And it has actually sold in all 50 states. So that's pretty awesome because I'm running the 50 states. And I thought that was a pretty cool fact that my dad titled the book. I had the whole book done and ready. And he, I said, I'm just missing a title. And my dad said, Becca's Feet on Feet. And I said, that sounds awesome. He's my role model, my hero. So I thought, let's let's go with that. And it's done really well. And I and it's, in, it's really fun for the kids to ask me to sign their book and it's for all ages, really. Any age can, you know, I've sold it to high schoolers. I've sold it to college people. But really, essentially, from maybe four to eight is the age. Will you do a sequel? Yes. I'm currently going to st starting thinking an out out outline for the f a book about the 50 states. So that would be really good for all the fifth grades in America studying the 50 states. Becca, will you do the World Challenge for a third time? anything's possible every time I, I'm doing it I said this is it go all out you had so much fun but I have other goals my other goals are to run Kona Ironman and then also to run across America so I do have other goals that I'd like to achieve but this 777 was an incredible experience Becca is anything else you want to share about this fun event Actually, yeah, I'm really excited to tell you that the mascot for the New England Revolution soccer team is coming. So come down and take a photo with him. It's going to be a great day. His name's Slide the Fox, and the New England Revolution is bringing a tent. So make sure you stop by and say hello to them and to Cambridge Trust, our sponsors. Becca, you are truly an inspiration to our community and around the world. And invite us again on how to register for the Becca PC5K. Yeah, to register, we're about a month out, and you can register at BeccaPZ.com, and there's a 5K drop-down link. That's great. You all, please save the date. You can run, you can walk, and I'll see you next time. That was it for today. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar.